Mark, thank you. Well, the Clay County Health Department recently issued a rabies advisory for Doctors Lake and Orange Park. Very concerning, especially for those who have pets. So the question this morning is, how can we protect our furry friends? We have Dr. Christian Broadhurst with Clay Humane, as well as one of your furry yes, friends. Yes, this is one of my furry friends. This is Ponyo, who's getting adopted today, as a matter of fact. Oh, congratulations. Her dad's going to call her Boo Boo, so <laughs> we're going to be changing names here shortly, but oh, she's, she's a love, and she's going to a new wonderful home. She, she's super sweet, and you she nursed is. her back from having a bad case yeah, of pneumonia, She right? had terrible pneumonia about a month and a half, two months ago, and uh, we were very close to losing her, but we, we stuck with it, and here she is. And you can probably hear it in the microphone. I know. She's a little purr box. Yeah, steady purr, and she really is. So let's get to the details. Very concerning. You, your facility actually was the ones that found out that this cat did have rabies. Yes. Clay County Animal Services brought the cat to us, and unfortunately, when you have a rabies suspect, especially a feral cat, it had to be humanely euthanized and then tested, and it came back positive for rabies, which is the first cat I've seen positive for rabies in our area in, in quite some time. So that's not very common at not all. Not very common. Now, rabies is always out there in the population, in the wild animal population. Bats, raccoons um, are all rabies carriers, but it is uncommon for it to jump into the domestic population. But when it does, cats are the most commonly represented. How does that happen? Is it from a bite? It's from bites. Yeah, but salivary transmission from an animal who not only has rabies, but is actively affected by rabies. Um, that's why there are certain quarantine links to keep cats. You know, if, you're, if your cat is bitten by an animal that's rabid but not showing symptoms it can survive mm -hmm. but if you are bitten by someone who's showing symptoms and you're unvaccinated it's a, it's a fatal disease in mammals yeah unfortunately if a cat or a dog gets rabies they need to be put down they do they do but luckily with the reason we test these animals that come up suspect for rabies is that the uh, person who was bitten is now receiving post-exposure vaccines which mm -hmm. can be preventative rabies uh, in humans is fatal if it is untreated and pretty terrible Mm -hmm. Well, good news is she's okay. What can she you is. do to make sure uh, that your cats and your dogs are safe? Well, vaccination. Vaccination mm -hmm. is the key. Um, rabies vaccines are extremely effective. They're extremely prevalent um, and very inexpensive. So it is that is the one vaccine mandated by law that okay. animals have in Florida. Okay. Does it also have to do with keeping them in your yard? Um, if you have, areas? it's good to keep them away from wildlife. Minimize their chance of exposure to a rabid raccoon or a rabid cat that comes wandering through your neighborhood. If you keep tabs on your animals, um, but there's nothing to stop a rabid raccoon from climbing your fence and ending up in your backyard. So sure. vaccination is the key. And really quickly, what are the signs you need to look out for and when do you need to seek professional help from a vet? Well, the best way to prevent rabies is, of course, to be rabies vaccinated. But if you're suspicious, wild animals acting abnormally. Raccoons out in the daytime does not mean they're rabid, but it's an abnormal behavior for them, sure. so watch out for them. Um, cats showing unusual aggression, watch out for those too. That's not a natural behavior in cats, especially feral cats. They're skittish and shy. They are not aggressive. So watch out for things like that and report them to your local animal control. Okay. All right, Dr. Christian Broadhurst, we appreciate it. And My pleasure. You know that Boo Boo is the Boo -boo new name? Boo Boo Now. Boo Boo Now, that's the new name. Boo Boo. You better get used to it. I know. She's going to her new home this her, afternoon. Her forever home. <laughs>